Hello, I'm Craig Hall and welcome back to the Southern Cyborg Cooks. Today, we're going to be making chicken lollipops. You heard that right. We're going to be making chicken lollipops. Now, we're going to be making them in the Daniel Boone smoker. So, let me tell you what we're going to have to do. First of all, I've made a brine. And what I did is took a gallon of water and just took a little bit, a couple of cups right here. What I did was mixed in one half cup of salt, three quarters cup of brown sugar, and one quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, and just mixed it up on a burner, medium low, until it melted. And I've set it to the side. The rest of the gallon of water is in this big pot right here. Once it cools off and we got all the chicken put together like we want it, we'll put it in the brine, we'll leave it for a few hours, and we'll be back later on today to put it in the smoker. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it off about right here. And we're going to peel it back. We're going to take off all these tendons and fat, skin, whatever's there, and we're going to stand it up like this, just like a lollipop. But if you notice, this don't stand up too good right now. So in the video, they took and they cut it right across here to make it stand up. So what we're going to do is figure out how you do that. And we're going to give it a try. So there you go. Just like that. Then you're going to repeat the process over and over. Just cut around, peel all the skin and ligaments back, pull it off, use a paper towel, that will help you to get a grip on that stuff. Just keep on doing it, and you'll get real good at it after you do about 12 of them. You'll have them all standing up before you know it. What I did earlier, I already told you about, is I mixed up the brine solution in a little pan to melt everything and put the rest of the gallon of water in this big pot. So all we're going to do right now is mix the two together and give them a stir. Everything's cooled down. You don't want to put chicken legs in a hot brine solution. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them right in here, just like this. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this in the refrigerator and leave it for about five or six hours or something like that. And before you know it, it's been five or six hours. We're taking them out, patting them dry, so that rub will stick to it. That's why you do that. Just get you some olive oil and spray them so you'll have something that will stick to. And I put Raging River Rub on these chicken legs for this cook. Okay, now we're going to mix up a little bit of sauce. This is what we're gonna make the candy on the lollipop with. This is three quarters of a cup of sweet baby rays. And to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of pineapple juice. And last but not least, we're gonna add a tablespoon of honey. I'm just gonna have this on medium heat until it starts to simmer and everything gets melted together. Smoker's up to 325 degrees, so we're gonna put the chicken on the grill. And before you know it, it's up to 160 degrees, and that's when you wanna go ahead and put the sauce on them. And I found it was just easier and better to dip each one of them right in the sauce. You get a good coat all over them and that's what you want and before you know it some of them's going to be up to about 175 degrees and that's when you want to start taking them off we're taking them off they're all about 170 175 degrees and that's what you want with chicken legs 
So now I'm just going to take the rest of them off, get them all in the house. Hey, we're inside. We just took these off the grill. So let's recap. Early this morning, we made a brine and we put them in the brine, put them in the refrigerator, let them sit for about six hours. We took them out, we patted them dry. Hey, we sprinkled them really good with some Raging River Rub. Put them in the smoker at 325 for about an hour and 25 minutes. That's when they reach 175. And that's important because you may think chicken's done at 165. And when you're talking about a chicken breast, that's the temperature, 165. But these are legs and they have those tendons and the dark meat. And they really need to go to about 175 in the smoker. So that's what we did. Now when they reached 160, we dipped them in the sauce and we made lollipops. Now you can see how good that looks right there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try one. And we're gonna try this little one right here. So here we go. Mm. Wow. People, I'm telling you, these are really good. Now, you wouldn't do this every day or every week. This is something like you would do. It's a finger food. It's for carrying to a party. It's a lot of effort, but it's worth it. You got to try it at least once. Carry them to a party somewhere. You'll be the hit. Hey, these babies is good. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know every time that I put out a video. I'll see you next time on the Southern Sideboard Cooks. Now, I've eaten a lot of chicken like, uh, <laughs> Hey. Okay, what we're doing today is repurposing my wife's salad spinner. And so we're gonna give the chicken a good mix just like this right here. Hey, we just took the wings off the wings. 